I'm Dennis Wingo, and I am the CEO of Skycorp Incorporated. The Lunar Orbiter missions were five spacecraft that NASA sent to the moon in 1966 and 1967 as precursors to the Apollo lunar landings. Until that time, no one in human history had seen the moon up close. And we had to look at the moon up close to know what it was like so that the crew of the Apollo missions could land safely. The third of these unmanned missions is Lunar Orbiter, in which an orbiting satellite takes pictures of the moon and transmits them back to Earth. Our effort, the Lunar Orbiter Image Recovery Project, is to recover those images in their highest resolution, most pristine state. Beginning in 2008, we started our task. We had three questions to answer. Can you make the tape drives work? Is there anything on the tapes? If there is anything on the tapes, is it of higher quality than what NASA already had in their film archives? We answered all three questions definitively yes. The first image that we recovered, vast historical value, was the famous Earthrise, which is the very first image ever taken of Earth with the moon in the foreground. The second image that we recovered was Copernicus. It was an oblique view into the crater, almost as if you were standing on a cliff looking down. At Skycorp, we've done a lot of fun stuff. We did the first television commercial for Radio Shack on the International Space Station. We've done work with DARPA and NASA on exploration projects. And we have been able to bring to you in the world our lunar orbiter images and last year our ISEE 3 spacecraft project. What we are asking for from you, our backers, is for a total of $100,000, which will allow us to complete the project. The reason that we're crowdfunding this now is for that last mile. NASA provided funding that allowed us to finish all the digitization of the tapes. We've now finished this with the tape drives. What we have to do now is the final work to finish the image processing and to put these images on the public NASA servers and to provide them to the National Space Science Data Center. We have history from the 1960s that, are in, that is in danger of being lost. And this is why we're doing this project to recover the history of the Apollo era before it's gone forever.